Hi everybody, I'm Brad. And I'm Krista. From the Big Family Homestead. And in this video, we're gonna show you, or rather, Mamacita is gonna <laughs> show you how to, how to deal with your goat's milk. You, once you've milked your goat, you can't just drink it out of the zipple. No, you can't do that. It's, it's, you gotta do stuff. So she's gonna <laughs> show you what to do with your goat's milk so you can consume it safely. Right. Amen. Uh, yeah. So as Brad, the goofball, said, you can't just drink the goat's milk straight out of the zipple, I think. <laughs> I think the correct term is teat. However, that's okay. Um, so there's a process that you have to go through to get the milk drinkable. So here's what we have. We have a bucket of some ice water. We have our goat's milk in here. You have a sterile jar. A filter and one of those reusable coffee filters. I really like the way that sits in there nicely. And then a paper coffee filter. You can buy these fancy filters and they're just really expensive and you know, you gotta do things kind of cheap here, so. And that's okay. So, what you gotta do is you got ice water. Fill that up. So the reason for the ice water is so that you can cool your goat's milk down really, really fast. Otherwise, it's just gonna get that goaty taste and not taste very good, unless you like that goaty taste, but. So this is our milk bucket here. Uh, I'm just gonna talk to you about this a little bit. Um, I used a old bucket before and then I decided to, to milk right into the jars. Well, that took a lot of work and sterilizing those. And well, I decided instead of buying one of those expensive, expensive milk um, buckets that have the flip lid and all that jazz, I would make my own. So I bought one of these buckets at Walmart for about $8. And then I had, I had Brad cut this lid out for me and then I keep some plastic on there so that I can pull this plastic back and milk straight into this sterile bucket or pot. And then I, when I need to get more milk out of her, I close this plastic up and it doesn't allow any hair or dirt to get into the bucket and it keeps it pretty clean. Okay, a word on the bucket. We use stainless steel. It's a little bit safer in the barn, easier to sterilize. Uh, you can use glass. Uh, I just don't recommend uh, aluminum. Uh, it degrades the milk and it, the bucket will also degrade as well. Okay, now we need to filter the milk. And you got your sterile glass jar here and your sterile funnel and filter. And then I throw a paper coffee filter in there. And then you just start filtering your milk. It takes a few minutes. Now what we're really trying to do is just get the, any hair that has fallen into the milk. Um, I have cleaned her udder and her teats really well with some soapy water and then dried them so there's no soap dripping into the um, milk. But this is just to catch any hair or dirt that might have fallen into it. So now while it's finishing straining, I will set this down in the ice water so that it can begin cooling. So now the cooling process is very important. You need to get your milk cooled within 45 minutes, otherwise it's gonna taste goaty and, and you won't, you won't wanna drink it. So now this is just about finished filtering. Um, so I will take this out and seal it up so that no water gets into it or any bacteria gets into it. And I will let this sit for about an hour so that it has a good enough time to uh, cool the milk completely. 
So finally, uh, this is how we process our milk, and this is, we drink our milk raw. I'm not suggesting that you drink yours raw. Uh, however, that's a decision you make on your own. We're not doctors, we're, you know, we, I can't give medical advice. Uh, we, we do not pasteurize it at all. We drink it raw and in its, uh, in its form. I hope you liked the video. Uh, please like and subscribe and all that jazz. And uh, this is Krista with Big Family Homestead, and you have an amazing day.